This is Marcus Corval with Studio MMA and MMA Net, and I'm here with, in my opinion, what was fight of the night, Mike Easton. How are you feeling after the fight? I feel good, man. I wish I had that fight of the night, though. I thought I had it. I thought me and Jerry had it. We put on an excellent show, and I know the fans loved it. Um, Pat Barry got fight of the night. In my opinion, that was the knockout of the night. Mm -hmm. But uh, you guys had the crowd on their feet. Uh, you you were rallying third round especially towards the end of the third round. Uh, that's one of the best rounds in MMA I've ever seen. How did you feel in there? I felt good. I did a lot of conditioning. It's mental toughness. That's one thing that I do have, a lot of mental toughness. I'm ready for the wars. I'm ready for the wars. The wars is what helps you get experience and, what, and that's what shoots you to the next level. And it's a lot of things that I still need to work on and I'm going to keep working on it. As soon as, as soon as I get home, get back into Working on the camp, keep moving my head, keep working on my boxing, keep working on my low kicks, keep the jiu-jitsu going, man, so I can be the best. Um, you, you are a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Yes, um, you got great wrestling as well. Jerry um, did pop up a few times. Was it harder to keep down than you expected him to be? Yes, especially, especially when, when I went to go pass. I know if I'd, I should have kept him in the half guard, you know, keep him in the half guard, it would be harder for him to move up, right. uh, to uh, get up off the cage. But I went to go pass going for the submission, going for Kamora and stuff like that. But he knows he knows how to use the cage. He knows how to use the cage to get up. And uh, he did what he had to do to get back to his feet. But I was cool with it so we can keep the fight going, keep the fight standing. It was awesome. Yeah, you're a very muscular 135. What do you weigh in between fights? When I'm, when I'm just walking around chilling, yeah. probably like 160. Um, you know, normal. Just, I, th I think it's normal. Is Would you consider dropping down to 125 UFC opening up uh, at the, the 125 division? Not at all. I'm huge. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a big 35er. So it's one of those things I'm like, oh, make, making, one th making 135, I can do it. It's comfortable. And 125, I just feel as though it's like too much. It'll be just too much of a cut for me. And I, I want to be healthy. And 135 is a healthy weight for me. So I can do that. You, uh, it took you 10 years to get to the UFC. Yes, sir. Uh, was there any point during those 10 years you were like, what am I doing? I'm not getting there. Uh, obviously, the UFC hasn't had 135 for that long, but the WEC has. And uh, was there anywhere along the road where you doubted it? You were thinking of anything else before you now you are in the limelight, but before that? Man, I, I had my ups and downs. I always was like, I'm going to get in the UFC. I'm going to get there. At some point in time, I just had a lot of injuries, especially my elbow. My elbow was fractured. My last, before I started fighting in the UFC, my last three or four fights, I, I was fighting with a fractured elbow. So I wasn't at 100%. And I was winning. I was, I'm winning fights with a fractured elbow. So I was like, I have to get healthy. Some way, somehow, I have to get healthy. So I got all, everything taken care of. I got healthy. And I'm what you see today, I'm doing my thing. Mike Easton, one of the best fights tonight, one of the best rounds of the year so far. It's not, it hasn't been a long year, but I'll bet you by the end of, of the year, December, it's still going to be one of the best fights. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank that, you, Mike. Thank you. Appreciate it, mate.